Hi ladies and gents, it's Rosemary here with 505 Crafts and I finally decided to, after being on the craft hole and we were talking about coloring our seam binding, I decided to do this video. And I brought out everything to try everything. Might as well, let's get to it. So I buy my Hug Snug seam binding on Etsy and um, I buy it in winter white and I think it's from a place called the Zipper Stop. I have some gloves. Let's see how long I last with the gloves on because I usually like getting my hands dirty. And I got some new soap that I want to try out, but I said, well, for the harder stuff, let me kind of just stick to this first. So we're going to try all these inks that you see in front of me. So we're going to go with archival ink, smash it on our table. And right now I only have black. So we got enough there. Let's see what happens. We're going to get our water spray. Well, that's not going to barely move. Yep, it just stained the, 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 um, this craft mat. Well, let's try it. Is it going to work at all? And it looks like that's a no. So that one is out. That's a negative. So let me see if this is going to come out. If I rub it out with a wipey. That should have been one of the last ones, but I said, hmm, let's just try it for the heck of it. All right, so the next one is, let's try stays on. Let me get a dry paper towel. And I'm wearing my apron just in case. And this is stays on timber brown. And it's pretty new, so it should be kind of juicy. We're just going to put very little. We don't need that much. We're just doing a little test. See if we get this to move around at all with some water. And again, that's going to be like the archival stuff. Let's see if this is going to move at all. Well, it's just going to rub it off. But no, that's again a negative. So no stays on ink. And then we're going to move on down to... Let's scrape that off. Let's do a dry wipe. And we're going to go to our Memento ink, which is a, a fade resist dye ink. So, I just grab whatever colors. Oh, it's a possibility that's going to work. And there we go. We got color and that's what we want. So, dye inks do work. That's what you want to see. So, when this happens and you grab color and you want more color, don't dab your... You don't want to wet it. Go to another spot. Dab, 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 and then run it through. And you get darker and darker as you go. So that works. And the way you do it is you crinkle it up in your hand and then you dry it. So dye-based ink does work, and that was Memento. So let's move along pretty quickly, people. And the one that's my favorite because I have it in every color is Distress Ink. We're going to use Walnut. And this is all I do, the same thing. Tap around. There we go. And spray. Yep, it moves around. When you see that beading, that's going to work. And mix it around, mix it around. And we got some color. There you go, that works. So that's my favorite to use a Distress Ink. So there's that one. Let's wipe on, wipe off. And I'm trying different ones just so you guys could see. We have a Faber Castell Gelato. Wet. As long as they're like water soluble. See, that moves around. And we don't get a dark pigment. 
but we get some and again we're just going to color over here again a little bit chunkier and let's spray and yep looks like we got some on there there you go I should have wet it first to take off all those little chunks but it, it does the job once it dries it's all good to go that's what's important so there's the gelato if that does work and then we're going to wipe on, wipe off, son. Daniel, son. Wipe on, wipe off. And so, hey, I thought about, wait, Crayola markers, water-based, right? I'm going any way, anything that I could get my hands on just to see what would work. And, of course, I'm using my Tim Holtz craft mat. That beads up, ladies. So get your kids Crayola markers. Yep. That works just fine. And look at that. That's a beautiful brown color. That's with the Crayola markers. There you go. So that works. These gloves are irritating me. I knew they would. They're falling apart anyways. So let's wipe on, wipe off. Okay, here we go. And I decided to try some Copics. Let's see how these Copic markers work. Oh, those don't move. Look. No movement. No movement of dye. Sorry, ladies. Your Copics are not going to work. Oh, they barely get any color, but why waste it? You saw those Crayolas and everything else that has worked so far. So that's just from rubbing it off. So let's get this off if we can. Mm. I'm not going to worry about it. Let me just dry it. All right. I got the Distress Marker by Tim Holtz. It's a water-based marker. And as you can see, it's already beating up from your craft mat. For some reason, my camera doesn't ever want to focus on anything. Water is the, the key. There we go. And of course, all Tim Holtz products work really well. There we go. The stress marker. Dunno. That's a pretty color too. Sorry about the arm in the way. to reach over. All right, let's try a Sharpie marker. Why not? We're on a roll here. Oh, nope. I don't think it's going to work, but I could be wrong. Nope, it just scrapes off the color. And there's the purple. It's very light, just like the Copic. That doesn't work. And then we're going to move on to our Spectrum Noir markers. Let's give this a fair trial. So it looks, oh, oh, I didn't know the Spectrum Noir colors would do that. Did you see the color move? Hey, your Spectrum Noir colors may uh, give you like a pastel look. Let's try that again, just a little darker color. Wow, didn't know. That was a surprise to me. Did you see that? Look at that. That's a pretty color. Very nice. Spectrum Noir must have like a little solvent, like a water base in it. And then... We're going to try some, so we did, I think, dye-based and the, the, all the archivers and the stays on. So I think this is one of the pigment color box. Yep, let's try this color. Yep, that's going to work. Once you see that beating up. There you go, you might have stuff that already works and look, I picked up that color really nice. There you go. 
So your pigment inks do work. And this is the Seneca Walnut ink. Let me just add a little bit of water. Yep, of course your inks work. And you could also use it straight on if you wanted a darker color. Let's try this. Oops, but more than one. So if you want it like a really rich color. There you go. So look at those. With water, without straight on. This is Walnut Ink by Suneco. And most of the sprays work the same way. And wipe off. Sorry. And then we're going to try... Let me shake these suckers up because they've been sitting there. Here we go. Smush, 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 squeeze. Get some juices going out of there. Another one. We're going to do one with water, one without. Might as well. So here's one with the water. And here's one without water. Sometimes I wet the seam binding just a little so it doesn't do this. So possibly maybe straight on. Let's try it. I feel like a scientist here. Hello. So this one, look at these colors. This is just watered down. One is, one isn't. They look pretty much the same. There we go. That's the Distress um, Stain by Tim Holtz. Again, wipe on, wipe off your surface. Let's give everybody a fair trial here. So we're going to get some paint, just regular acrylic paint in red. There we go. We didn't need that much, but oh well. And then douse it with water. Make sure it's mixed up really well. And let me get. Oh, look at that. Maybe if I'd have thinned it out just a little bit more. Let me um, get a wipey. There. So, your acrylic paints do work, ladies. Just, you know, water it down just a little bit more. There you go. Acrylic paint takes your seam binding really well. Let's wipe that sucker off and dry. All right, so this is my homemade spray, and I used um, this uh, soft gel paste Americolor. They also sell it in Wilton's. I just put a little bit in there, shake it up with some water. If I wanted to have some um, some shine to it, this one doesn't. I use the Maricolor Silver Sheen in Airbrush if I want that like really shiny color. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. So let's do one in one. So one spray here and one straight on. And I watered this one down because I wanted a lighter pink. And here we go. Testing, testing. We are in testing, and there we go. Look at those. Fabulous. So they both work. They almost look the same. That's homemade sprays. And then we're going to wipe off. And we're going to try the Tim Holtz ink spray. And let me see. Let's cut this in half. So we're going to do straight on. Get really dark. And add some water to that to water it down. Oop, there you go. Takes the color really well. Once you dry it, it shouldn't come off. 
So there's the Tim Holtz um, Dilusional Ink Spray. And I'm getting the seam binding back there next up. Oops, I didn't do the wet one first. Horrible me, horrible, horrible me. All right, what do we have left? Let me see, oh, we have the Metallic Ink uh, Gold. So I did try this, and this was a pain in the butt because afterwards the ink of gold, kind of um, the metallics in it, were flaking off. But I did want to show you guys how I did it in case this is all you have. You can do it. And here we go. Let's mix in that paint. So when it's kind of thick, you want to mix it in. And do I have more seam binding over there? No. Let's cut our seam binding. It gives a really pale color, as you can see. Oops, I picked up some of the blue. Whoopsies. But here we go. And I tried like the copper the last time, so I wanted to try the gold. So it just does a really minor color change. That's the, the Inca Gold. And that's really metallic -y. So there's the test, ladies. Go use what you got. And it looks like the cheaper the better. Let's recap. Um, so we learned archival ink. No, no. That doesn't work. Stays on. Didn't work. Gelatos worked great you just had to rub it in and mix it in with the water tim holtz distress inks works perfect memento ink works perfect crayola wow i couldn't believe this even worked but it did i guess because it's water based you know it's washable look at this how pretty it's drying up and it's this dark, but look at how pale it is. So if you want something really pale, and that's all you have, you use what you got. Your Tim Holtz Distress Markers work fine. I was very surprised at how dark we got this with the Spectrum Nor Markers. And Sharpies did not work. This is just picking up because it was sitting next to the pink one. But yeah, that didn't hardly work at all. Pigment ink, that worked fine. Um, ink of golds, mm, maybe if it's the darker one it'll work, but eh, why waste your money? Homemade spray ink worked perfect. You could probably even use like those drippy ones now that Easter's coming. Um, your acrylic paint works perfect, just water it down really a lot. Distress stain. Look at that, like um, little shine it has in it. Perfect. Walnut ink. Perfect. See how it's the watered down one and the dark one straight on. Look at that. Dilusional straight on, watered down. Isn't that amazing? How easy and fun was that? Love it. So all I do when I'm going to do this, and it's going to get loud, sorry guys, is I get my heat gun, and I crunch, crunch, crunch away, and it's going to pick up the blue because I'm not cleaning my hands really well, but I want you guys to get the idea of how I get it crinkly, and I saw a girl that says that she puts it in the microwave for like 20 second increments or less between some paper towels. This works for me, or I put it in a box if it gets too hot and it's taking forever, and I just spray it inside the box. Or if this is too hot for you, you get your tweezers, hold it down, and you're just not going to get that great, great crinkling effect. So, this is why I like um, doing it like this. There we go, ladies. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Really simple, really easy peasy. 
and there you go it's all dried up it's the red one and look at my dirty fingers I love dirty fingers and there you go that's how easy it is to do your seam binding that's that's the whole thing right there so you guys got all that idea I love having a mess on my desk every time hope you guys really enjoyed that please leave me some feedback or any other thing you guys use I know that the girls are using um, coffee tea avocado anything from the kitchen that you know is gonna stain you can use that probably jello Kool-Aid, if you want it to smell really yummy. And now I'm excited because I get to try my new grime soap. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed that.